Welcome to Mac and PC Prime video. Today I am showing how to format and reinstall an M3, M2, MacBook Air, MacBook Pro Mac Mini, or any future Apple Silicon, as it's a little bit different as far as removing everything as compared to before. Now the first thing is make sure you have a backup because when we're done, this will remove all information, all accounts, all information will be removed and erased from your Mac. So make sure you have a backup before you get started. Now, we need to make sure this Mac is up to date with a fairly current version because there were problems with early versions. Reinstalling Mac OS. To do this, click on the Apple in the upper left and go to About This Mac. Make sure that you're on version 14.1 or newer as earlier versions sometimes had problems reinstalling the OS and would have an error. Now let's go ahead and close this. And the first thing we need to do is remove our accounts from the device. So to do that, go to system settings or you can get there the same way by clicking on the apple in the upper left and going to system settings. Either way will bring you to the screen. Once you're at the screen, go ahead and click on Apple ID. We need to now sign out of our Apple ID. What you need to do is click on the overview. Once you're on overview, go ahead and click sign out. Now, here's where we'll need to make sure that we have our passwords when we get to the next step. So on this step, we need to uncheck these. Since we don't want to keep a backup of anything, we want to completely erase the drive and then go ahead and click continue just to confirm and then we'll have to put in our password. This is our iCloud password. This disassociates us from iCloud and also turns off Find My Mac. Go to the Apple, click Shutdown and go ahead and click Shut Down again. We'll wait for this to shut down. It will take just a moment and then we'll get to restoring and erasing everything. Now that the Mac has shut down on an M3, M2 Mac, all we need to do, or an Apple Silicon Mac, is press the power button, but keep your finger on it. Keep it pressed down in order to get to the settings that we need. So go ahead and press it and keep holding and you'll see it's booting up and it says continue holding for startup options. So we'll continue holding it. Now we'll let go. And it says loading startup options. So we'll wait for it to load the startup options and then we can continue. Now you'll see your drive here. Mine is just named Macintosh HD, but we need to click on Options. So click on Options and click Continue. It'll take just a moment to boot to that. Once we're booted to the Options, it'll say Examining Volumes and then select a user you know the password for. If you don't know the password, you can click on Forget or Forgot All Passwords. Go ahead and click on your name, click Next, and then put in your password. This is the same password you would log into your Mac with Wilgo. Go ahead and click Continue. And now we have our options to erase everything, so we have to restore from the time machine, reinstall MacOS, Sonoma Safari, and Disk Utility. Click on Disk Utility, and then click Continue. Now, the easiest way to do this, it will examine our volumes here. And the easiest way to do this is click on your drive on the left. It will be the one highlighted. There should also be one named data, but just click on the highlighted one. Then go ahead and click Erase. Now, keep in mind, this will remove everything from the device. And then you'll have to click it one more time, Erase Mac and Restart. So we'll do that. This will take a moment and it will reboot. Once the Mac reboots, you'll see this screen where it says Language. You'll select your language and then click. The arrow in the bottom, right, will take just a moment. Now it will say Activate Mac and select a Wi-Fi network from the menu or attach a network cable to proceed. So, in the upper right, you've got your network. Click on that and then you'll need to sign into your wireless network or connect a network cable. Once you're connected to your network, you'll see this icon change to a steady icon in the upper right and it will activate the Mac. Give it just a moment. Now it says your Mac is activated. We'll click Exit to Recovery Utilities and now we can click Reinstall Mac OS Sonoma. We'll click on this and then click Continue. Now it says to set up installation of Mac OS Sonoma. 
click continue. We'll go ahead and click continue. Now we'll have to agree to the license. We'll click agree and then you have to click agree again to proceed. And now we have our drive. So now we just click on the drive and click continue to get this installed. Now it tells you the amount of time it will take. It says one hour and 14 minutes. This is dependent on your internet connection as well, and it will usually drop down. I think it takes about 30 minutes for me on this connection, but it varies depending on what type of internet connection you have. So we'll wait for this to install and then we'll come back. Now the Mac has been completely restored and all data has been erased and all accounts are no longer associated with this. Mac. And so you're good to go to either give it away, return it, or maybe sell it and everything is safe and secure. No more data is on this device. And so hopefully this helped you out. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. Bye, see you next time.